What's going on, everyone? It's Abdallah with another episode of Fire Emblem Awakening. All right, in our last episode, we were going through some barracks and support conversations. Uh, we're going to do the exact same thing, but since I have a lot of my guys already maxed out on their levels, I figured we use some second seals, change them to different classes, and then go from there. All right, so before we do that, I've got a couple barracks. It uh, looks like maybe a couple on there. Yeah, there we go. Let's listen in really quick. Dreams are easy to chase, but hard to catch. What do you dream about? Well, I would love to see Minerva's child one day. Wouldn't that be magical? Why is why is she glowing like that? That's weird. Never saw that before. Oh, is that a hat? I didn't even see that. Hold on, let me look. That's like a magic hat, like Laurent or uh, Muriel's hat. That's kind of cool. I don't know if that poster was there. Those books were always there. Oh, little bunny. Weird. Oh, and there's another staff there. Cool. Yeah, getting more stuff. My sword hand, I cannot control it. I, I need your help. Of course, I would welcome the change of pace. I think these are pretty generic. I don't know why they put this in this game. Why so cheerful? Did you stumble upon a cute little caterpillar? Oh, I'm just having a regular day. You're the one who looks happy. Would you like to team up during the next battle? Our odds would greatly improve. Who is the vague to say no? If it's genius you want, I'm your man. Okay. It's nice having strong people like you around. Can we team up next time? I would be honored to keep you safe. Let our enemies break themselves against us. Ah, Frederick. Who uses that guy? Okay, support. I've only got a couple, not too many. One, two... I think three? Yeah, three, three support conversations, and then we'll evolve all of our teammates. Hey! Oh, wait! Yeah. Yes, Mother? I've got it. I picked one. Hmm? One what? Right. A name for my weapon. Wow. All right. Well, let's hear it. No doubt it joins your quiet grace with your fiery, fiery strength and iron resolve. <sighs> Owain. Hmm? Yes? <laughs> no, that's the name. Owain. Hey. Mother, that's my name. Mm -hmm. I know, silly. It's the name of that which I value most in the whole wide world. What better name could there be? Well. Yes, but I won't. Won't that get a little, uh, I don't know, confusing? I just don't think it's a good idea. Huh? Aww. <laughs> Try to focus. If you would draw your weapon's full potential, its name needs more oomph. I think Owain has plenty of oomph. It's got oomph up to here. It's... Wait a minute, are you saying you don't like your name? <laughs> no, no, I'm not saying that at all. Hey. <laughs> fine, fine. Just tear my heart out and stomp on it, why don't you? Imagine a son rejecting his name, his mom poured her heart and soul into choosing. Hoy there! No, mother! Would you please just listen? <laughs> well, fine then. Call yourself whatever you'd like. I'll get this Owain to protect me. This Owain will never turn on me. This Owain will never leave my side. Even if it snaps in half. <laughs> Gah, stop! Don't even talk about a weapon named after me breaking. Look, I'll protect you, okay? I promise. Now just please stop. Hey, thanks. You will? Oh, that's so sweet. Honey, come here, you. Uh, yeah, uh, please stop hugging too tight. Can't breathe. Oh. All right, well, if you insist, I'll stop trying to name my weapon then. <laughs> There's no need now that I have you to protect me. Isn't that right, dear? <sighs> Why do I feel like I've just been had? <laughs> I would never dream of it, sweetheart. And I promise I'll be right there to rescue you when you're in trouble, too. We don't need fancy names or divine power, son. We just need each other. Yeah! Alright, oh, Alyssa and Virion. Hey! Hey, Virion. I talked to Krom. You're clear to send as many pigeons as you want. No! Ah, oh, with no question about the content of my letters? Fascinating. I commend Krom's openness, but naive it is a troubling trait in a general. <laughs> He's not naive, silly. I just invented a little backstory for you. I told Krom you're writing letters to your dear old Ma and Pa back home. <sighs> Aristocrats have never Ma's nor Pa's, milady. Such vulgar terms. 
But tell me, I suppose I were actually a spy sending secrets to the enemy. What would be made of your groundless stories, then? Huh? Uh, wait, are you con confessing to me? Because you don't seem like a spy. Ha ha ha! Oh, this is truly too much. You and Crumb both. You're... Huh? Wait, what? Why are you laughing? My apologies. apologies, dear girl. Your incandescent innocence simply caught me off guard. Watch it, fancy pants. It's Milady, not girl. I won't stand here and be mocked. Remarkable. Perish the thought, Milady. I have only the deepest admiration for you. I'm envious, in fact. Men of my elevated station must suspect all, all who surround them. You and your brother are blessed to live free in such, free of such petty intrigues. You do realize that as a princess, I outrank you twenty times over, right? Do tell. Oh well, yes. Um, <clears throat> I suppose you would, wouldn't you? But then royalty has its own kind of shield from many of life's harsher realities. A fact lesser noble such as myself know only too well. Caught between the huddled masses below and the royal houses above. Oh, owner, wondrous fate. Can one of my standing ever know the rest? Oh. Nope. I still don't see how you have it harder than my brother. Oh. Uh, yes. Well, it's a nuisance thing. A casual observer might agree that leading an army is a greater burden. But to the trained eye, it's really quite clear that, uh, you see, um... You have no idea what you're talking about, do you? No, I don't, okay? Are you pleased to hear it? I, um, my apologies. What were we talking about? Hey! You're stupid carrier pigeons. Gods, even if you were a spy, it wouldn't matter. Your explanations would more likely confuse the enemy than help them. Anyway, you still haven't told me. What are your dumb letters about anyway? Oh, yes. I'm afraid that's privileged information, my dear lady. What? What? But after I... Ah! Haha, <laughs> ladies prefer a man with a bit of mystery, my dear Lissa. Though our exchange has been most valuable in its own right. Huh? What? You're happy you got to hide something from me? No. No. I learned you trust me. A lady's faith is among the sweetest gifts she can bestow. This has all been ever so enlightening, my dear. You have my thanks. <sighs> ah, I still think you're full of it. Haha. Uh -huh. Okay, Owain and Lucina. Hoy there! What are you working on, Lucina? No. Falchion hasn't been at full strength lately, so I'm examining the blade for damage. <laughs> Try to focus. Sword troubles, eh? Leave it to me. Very well. Oh, alright, thank you. Well... No blade nicks, no obvious flaws. Ah, here's your problem. Huh? You found something? Excellent! Can it be rectified? Yeah. Aw, oh, this is easy. I even got the tools I need with me. I'll take care of it right now. <laughs> Wonderful, thank you, Owain. Could I perhaps ask to speak? Uh, in your fanciful manner as you work? It would be a good practice for my efforts to adjust my own tone. What? Huh, <laughs> alright. I'll speak and you can practice translating. Hark! Your partner Feng resists the remorseless arrow of time. It is infused with the breath of gods and the passion of ages. Should a thousand thousand years pass, it shall never know the red sleep. Alright. That one is simple. Falchion's blade will never dull or rust, no matter how much time passes. We're in this together. But where the Fang meets Sinu, Falchion remains in mortal work. Even genius cannot hope to stop the turning of the Great Wheel. And so it's reborn with each generation, transformed, but ever the same in spirit. Wow. Hmm. But parts of the sword other than the blade do wear out over time. The guard and the pommel have been replaced over the years, changing its appearance. But it remains Falchion still. What? Perfect. That's exactly right. You're amazing, Lucina. <laughs> I suppose I did a fair job for the first time. But you are the amazing one, Owain. To discover all that about a sword from a single glance is a fearsome talent indeed. My sword <laughs> hand twitches. Take care of weapons as a kind of hobby of mine. Oh, hold on. And we're done. Here you go. You have my gratitude. There you go again. Thank you. <laughs> my pleasure. Just let me know if there's anything else I could do. Right. Perhaps I'll take you up on that. Okay, awesome. Alright, Lucina and Cynthia. Um, Cynthia? Hmm? Uh, you know what I'm about to say, don't you? Hmm. Be sure to wash Falchion after I'm done cutting this apple. <laughs> don't use Falchion to cut apples in the first place, you dolt! Sorry! Ah, I'm sorry! 
You had best be more than just sorry. That sword is a national treasure of Ulysses and a final memento of my father. Would you use the last earthly remembrance of your dead father to cut fruit? You have shamed that weapon that built your very homeland. Well, you've seen for yourself how big the apple is, and with no other knives around. But besides, I barely ever touched the thing before. I don't know, I, I got curious. <sighs> so, um, are you mad? Yeah, yeah, you're mad. Huh? You've never held Felchi on before? Hmm. No, not really, no. In the future, you always kept it by your side. And since we've been back here, I've moved it from tent to tent once or twice. What? Then we don't know if you have the potential to wield it. Huh? Wait, it takes a special person to use it? Yes. I see, there's much you do not know. This blade was forged with Naga's power and steeped in the Exalt's bloodline. Only a select few are able to wield it, even among the Elysian royal house. Uh, Yeesh, oh. toss, talk about picky. But I'm not surprised you're one of them, Lucina. No. You may well be another, Cynthia. I'm mortified we've come this far without ever putting it to the test. Huh? Hey, that would be totally heroic and awesome if I could use it. Cutting down foes with a mystical sword is pretty much the best thing ever. Well... Mostly I'm ashamed I've never stopped to consider it. If you are in fact among Felchion's chosen, that is knowledge we need. There may come a time when it proves necessary for you to take it up. Huh? What, like if you're busy? Yes. Like if I'm dead, Cynthia. Having someone able to wield it even after I'm gone would be a considerable asset. We must use any means at our disposal to ensure the future is saved. Now let's go put it to the test. Uh... Huh? Cynthia? Oh. oh, forget it. There's no way the sword would choose someone like me. What? You don't know that until you try. You yourself just said you wish you were able to wield it, so let's... Uh. I said no, I'm not doing it. Don't make me. Don't make me practice for your death, Lucina. But don't you see? I understand how you feel, but we must be practical about this. We cannot afford to lose this war, no matter what happens, or who dies. Right. You think I don't know that? But it's not... It's just not that simple for me, alright? What are you planning to lead me to? But my parents... First my parents, now you? No, wait. Not by choice, Cynthia. Never by choice. But there are no guarantees in a war. <laughs> and that's supposed to make me feel better? If it means you dying, I don't want anything to do with Falchion. And if you make me try, I'll only use it to chop up more apples, so there. This is pointless. I'm leaving. <sighs> Cynthia. She sure is stuck on this whole apple business. Yikes. So, out of curiosity, let's see. Can, uh... Lucina... Hold on, let's see. Lucina puts her parallel falchion in there. Cynthia, let's trade your rescue for it. Oh, you can't even use swords in the first place, so why did I even try that? Hello. Okay, let's get that back. Got it. Okay. So, here we go. In review, let's start off with Lissa. Um, Lissa, she actually learned her level 15 uh, Valkyrie ability called Dual Support, which increases the support bonuses, which is very awesome. Uh, she's got Renewal, she's got Rally Luck, Rally Resistance, and Miracle. I don't really want Miracle, so I'd rather take like something like Gale Force. Um, if she was a Dark Flyer. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to turn her into a Dark Flyer right now. Usually I wait until they're level 20. Um, but right now, I mean, there's no point in doing that. I don't really want to grind five levels. So let's just do that. Dark Flyer. And then if you're a Dark Flyer at level 5, uh, you get Rally Movement, which is kind of cool. And at level 15, you get Gale Force, which allows you to get another turn after you kill someone, which is awesome. So let's do it! Very cool. Alright, now, 
uh, looking at it, Cynthia, for some reason, Cynthia has a, a really good growth rate for experience, uh, which is very cool. So, um, taking a look at her, she's got, she already has Gale Force, which is awesome. She's got Aether from her dad, Crumb. She's got Lance Fair, um, Relief, and um, Speed plus two, which is very awesome. So, what I'm thinking with her is I'm leaning more towards a General. So, let's take a look at General. So, she'll be able to keep her lances because she has Lance Fair. Um, and with General, uh, you can actually learn the ability called, uh, what is that? Rally Defense at level 5. And you can learn Pavis, which has the damage from swords, lances, and axes um, at level 15. So, that's what I'm leaning towards. So, let's do that. There we go, General time. Yeah, that's going to be fun. Not bad. Speed and skill went down a little bit, but defense is rocking. And HP and strength went up. I mean, I won't be using magic too much, so. Here we go. No, I got axes. Excellent. Okay, so that's her. Morgan has another about four levels to go. Callum, here we go. The assassin, Callum. Um, now, he learned. He's got some pretty good ones. He's got lethality. He's got movement. He's got pass. Um, he's got lock touch. And he's got defense. So, I mean, I really don't need um, lock touch unless I'm in a level where I need to open something. So, but until I do that, it's kind of a, a wasted, a wasted ability. So let's use him to become a trickster. Now, the main reason why I want to become a trickster is because he's he'll get the ability called I think it's um, acrobat, where he can go on any space. That's right. At level 15, he'll get to be able to go to all traversable terrain, which costs one movement point. So he can go on the mountains, he can go to the water. Um, he can pretty much go anywhere, which is awesome. So I think that'd be pretty good to have. So Trickster it is. But he got magic plus four. I mean, I didn't really need that. That really didn't seem worth it. But I'll just get the trickster or the acrobat ability and then reclass him somewhere else. Okay. So that's Kellum. Let's look at who else. Sumia? No, Sumia's got a little bit left to go. Okay. Virion. Here we go. This one's an easy one. Because Virion's literally my only guy that has um, a bow and can use it, besides like Callum and, and Donald, since I just reclassed him. But uh, with with Virion, I'm kind of leaning towards, I want to ultimately keep him a sniper, because I need someone on the team that can use a longbow, and the only one that can use a longbow is a sniper. So with that being said, I'm going to make him a bow knight, because a bow knight actually gets, um, he gets rally skill at level 5, and he gets bow breaker at uh, level 15. Uh, which, you know, the hit rate and the avoid um, is increased by 50 when an enemy is equipped with another bow. So, that'd be kind of cool to have. So, let's do it. Bow Knight. I haven't had a Bow Knight yet. And so, it's uh, new, new, to, new to you guys. There we go. Not bad. Now I got swords. That'll be fun to use. Okay, let's look. A couple more. Okay, so Sully. Here we go. Sully. Now, Sully's got some pretty good um, abilities. 
uh, meaning she's got Sword Breaker, she's got Strength, Discipline, um, Tentivi, and Quick Burn. Now, what I'm leaning towards her is definitely going towards the Sword Master route. Um, I like Sword Master because they can actually learn, um, what was that, Astra, where they attack so many different times in a turn. And then with also with that is, let me see, yeah, strength plus five when equipped with a sword. So why not? Why not? Sword Master, yeah. Finally, Sully comes off of Wyvern. Wow. Ooh, defense went down a lot, and so did HP, but, you know, we're getting speed and strength. No, I'm not getting strength. Speed and skill. A little bit of magic. A little bit of resistance. Not bad. We're doing it for the abilities, because that would be very awesome if she had that ability. Okay. Here's Abdallah. Yes. What are we going to do with him? This is like the fourth time he's evolved. All right, so what are we going to do? I'm thinking, you know, I really like the ability called Counter. And you get that when you're at level 15 of a warrior. So I think I can get rid of, um, let's see, Veteran. I don't need Veteran on. I'd rather have Counter on because then that's just like, okay, you hit me, and then I hit you back for equally as much. So do it, warrior time. Ooh, magic, minus 11. Ooh, that's not bad. I mean, I won't be using magic anymore, uh, which was my strong point, but nonetheless, I've got 39 strength. I've got HP maxed out. I think you can only get 80 HP. So I'm ready to start fighting. Yeah. All right, who's next? Oh, Wayne. Who, what are we going to do for Oh, Wayne? What was I thinking for him? Oh, Wayne, oh, Wayne. Um, leaning more towards Hero. Um, because I want to keep him with swords, because he has the ability called Sword Fair. Um, yeah, he's also got Astra and Vantage, which is cool. Um, so, I mean, with Hero, you can learn the, the ability called Soul, which is cool. Um, and then you can learn Axe Breaker, too, at 15. So, let's do that. Hero time. And plus, he's always talking about being a hero too, right? Here we go, got a cool shield. Not too bad. Okay, who is next? Krom? Nope. Nope. Um, and then last but not least... Okay, we got Donald up there. Olivia. I wanted to start using her again. Where are you? Oh, here you are. Okay, second seal it up. Now, this is really cool because Olivia can do any one of these as well. I mean... It would be awesome if she's a sword master, because then she can use um, sword fair. Um, because ultimately, with Olivia, we want to make her a dancer again. We want to reclass her back to that. So a dancer can equip swords. So might as well do it, because she'll get sword fair. So now I've got two sword masters. I got Sully and her. And Sully is way overpowered, but we'll see if we can squeeze Olivia in, at least to get her supports going. Who do you guys want to see her marry? I don't know. we got to play matchmaker now. Because she's uh, one of the only women that I actually use that don't have a support partner, shall I say. Oh, uh, could you turn the other way? <laughs> she's so shy. It's funny. Okay, we are just about done. That is it. 
that's it guys um, as of right now what we're going to do on our next episode is we're going to explore all the DLC that we haven't done so far um, there is actually a lot of them so we're going to jump into that on the next episode like always if you guys enjoyed the episode please let me know by jamming a comment in the comment section tell me about what character you liked or what kind of um, master seal or second seal evolutions you guys have made on your game or maybe some recommendations for the future all right other than that click on that like button it helps out the channel grow and also um, if we get 50 likes within the first day we'll do a little bit of uh, subscriber appreciation I'll give you two uploads the next day all right if you're new to this series subscribe for more fire emblem awakening thank you guys